Hello, hello everyone. Welcome once again. I'm Hector and I am honored to have you here one more time, especially because in this video I'm going to be talking about the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines. I selected 12 contestants. I think that these 12 were the best during the introduction videos. This introduction videos is my favorite part of the competition because we can meet the candidates, we can get to know a little bit more about them. But let's be honest, some candidates seem like they recorded with a Nokia of 2006 <laughs> and some of them were very stiff which it was surprising for me because I think that in a video you have the opportunity to correct a detail if the video is wrong you can edit it you have time to record edit the video with some candidates they didn't have a strong team to correct some details in their videos this is kind of a preparation to what they will have to do in Miss Universe well just one of them will have the opportunity to say that she's Philippines in front of the universe in Mexico and I do think that the next representative of the Philippines is in this group so in ascending order we receive Miss Cebu Thirty-four years old? She looks like twenty-four. She sounded a little bit like Pia Wurzbach. Overall, I think that there were some details in her styling that could have been better. Next in the list, Miss Zambales. Excellent styling, her pose and elegance captivated. The accessories made her stand out in a classy way. The content was kind of goofy, but that was good because she broke the ice. She wanted to cause that impression and she did it with me. Let's say mabuhay to Miss Bulacan. Mabuhay Universe, ako si Chelsea Manalo, 24 na taong gulang mula sa unang republika ng Pilipinas ang dakilang lalawigan ng Bulacan! I have something to share with you. I can go plan different flavors of ice cream in just one sitting. You want? Mm. Yummy. I want a taste of her ice cream. She gets better day by day. She was so effortless and authentic. The best smile of the bunch. Quezon City. I am Lorraine Ojimba, 25, shining the light to the universe from the city of stars, Quezon City. Fun fact about me is that I was able to discover that I could sing when we were required to perform in our major subject during college, and that brought me to opportunities I never imagined. And now I'm entering the universe, making everyone believe the possibilities ahead of them. African and Asian beauty, exotic beauty, she's very eloquent and mature. She said that she is from the city of stars and I can see that she is a star. Miss Naik. Mabuhay, ako si Mary Rose Sundargiral mula sa tahanan ng Pauligan Festival, bayan ng Naik, Lalubigan ng Pagite. She's one of the most underestimated contestants. She looked really good and I think that that soft pink makeup is accurate for her face and skin tone. Also, I am surprised because people did not show her much support in the Miss Universe Philippines Instagram page. Hola hola, Miss Tagik. Hello Miss Universe Philippines, I'm Christy McGarry. I'm 33 years old, proudly representing the city of Tagig. Well, I'm a girl that wears many hats. I am a host and TV personality, 
I am also a professional model and a DJ. I'm also a wellness advocate and someone who likes to stay active. I love, love, love the beach. I love to free dive and scuba dive and spend any time by the sea in the ocean. But coming from and living in New York City to spending most of my adult life in a gig city, alam nyo naman yung saying, you can take the girl out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the girl. I like to see in this video the different activities that she's passionate about. She was memorable for me. I cannot get that video out of my head. Let's say hello to Miss Kainta. Hello universe, I'm Stacy Gabrielle, an actor, mental health advocate, and founder of the sustainable swimwear brand. Proud to represent my captivating home of Kainta Rizal. I have a fur baby named Vino, whose mustache never fails to make me smile. In my spare time, I like to crochet bucket hats for me and my loved ones. I find it extremely therapeutic and Quite I feel most grounded when I put pen to paper. So I have a gratitude journal, a productivity planner, a Q&A notebook, and a manifestation journal. She is an intelligent one. Her personality is enjoyable. Her face is one of the most beautiful ones in this edition. She has symmetry. I was pleased looking at her. The number five goes to Miss Bayo. Hi, I'm Tara Valencia, 22. Umali kayo di tayo pine and crested mountains and the educational center of the north, Baguio City. As someone with passionate determination, I was able to graduate as a cum laude. But even prouder to share that I was able to finance my education through multiple scholarships. And this determination, I will bring to the universe. You know that I'm in love with the Filipino accent. She's such a sweetheart. Also, she looks very young and she was calm and slow, which I love because I could understand what she was saying. You know that my English is not my maternal language, but I could understood what she was saying. It was pleasant to see. She did a great job. In the number four, we have Miss Quezon Province. Hello, everyone. I am Maria T. Sumanalo. 26 proudly representing Quezon Province. I am an entrepreneur and I think I got my entrepreneurial spirit from when I was young. When I was a kid, I would try to sell pogs, decks, and jollins to my playmates. And then I challenged them to a game with their newly bought toys. Oh, and the best part, I usually win, therefore I take back what they recently paid for. Winner! She's funny and that surprised me in a very good way because most of the time she's always serious and you know, fierce and I love that too. But when she made like that kind of joke, I like her even more. All the preparation that she has been going through, it has been worthy because she seems ready. But when it comes to a close-up, I think that other candidates looked better. Number three, Miss Bacor. Mahal kong Pilipinas. Diba, kita kita ang sinabi ko sa inyo. Victoria Velasquez Vincent, 28 years old, representing a city so transformative, yet still rich in history, and the marching band capital of the Philippines, Bacoor City. My earliest memories are of playing with my cousins in the streets of Bacoor. And little did I know, this Bacoorena would be inspired by her city in more ways than one. With my master's degree in architecture and heritage conservation, and my inherent love for music and the arts, there is no doubt where my roots are firmly planted. She's simple but impactful. Kudos to her team for showing us this masterpiece of video. Facially, she was very entertaining and charismatic. For me, that was everything. This task was an easy one for her to pull it off because we know that she's an expert. In the second place, oh, I sounded like Julia Morley. <laughs> In the second place, I have Miss Iloilo City. Maayong adlaw ka ninyong natanan. Ako dali si Alexi Mee Kain Mosu Brooks, 22, from the City of Love, Iloilo City. One interesting fact about me is I'm actually a member of the Philippine national team for track and field, and I was awarded as the fifth best heptathlete in the Philippines. And what do pageantry and heptathlon have in common is that it both requires the determination, courage, perseverance, and confidence at the same time. 
I felt enchanted because this video is based on a real life experience. I felt that she was already in Mexico for Miss Universe. I think that showing her evolution from sports to beauty pageants, it is definitely captivating and not boring at all. Her face was glowing like a winner. And the number one goes to the Filipino community in Northern California. Hi, my name is Kayla Carter. I'm 27 years old and I'm representing the Filipino community of Northern California. I'm an international TV personality and a social media content creator, which may seem very glitz and glam on the outside, but in my free time, I actually love to spend my time outdoors and in nature. I love camping, I love hiking, and actually two years ago, I bought a camper van and spent an entire summer renovating it, which was such a rewarding and fun project for me. Nature is where I feel like I can really connect with my inner self, which is something that a lot of people may not expect to come from. She looked like a top model, an international figure. I love the simplicity of this video because it helped her to stand out her striking beauty. While I was watching this video, I was more focused on her and not in the makeup or the clothes that she was wearing, you know, so none of this took my attention, just her. And that's what I was looking for, a candidate that could capture her essence in this 20 seconds video. I think that she did it really good. She communicates very well and she has an inviting tone of voice, which helps her to sound like very enchanting. Someone said that she doesn't seem like a Filipina and I think that is pure jealousy. She looks like a Filipina and I see people that is insecure with her candidates and they are trying to take this one down. I also realized that a lot of fans are just looking for the resume or the advocacy of the candidates but Miss Universe is not part of IMG era anymore. Miss Universe is Ains Jacafon era <laughs> and this is a different era, completely different, where the advocacy is not the most important thing. Let's remember Michelle Marquez D. She was amazing. She had everything that we were looking in a Miss Universe of the IMG era and they left her in the top 10. The new era for Miss Universe is looking for money. Ain't just say that. <laughs> And also I think that commercial aspect that can help the girl to book a lot of jobs. Based on that, I feel that Miss Northern California is the one that completes the characteristics that Miss Universe team would like in Mexico during the next edition. Personally, I felt in love with her. Thanks to her introduction video. That was my selection of this portion of the competition. And this is the moment where I asked to you who was your favorite during the introduction videos. I have to say thank you so much to all of you who has been so supportive and nice and hopefully soon we will be in the Philippines. I'm going to put my mind in that moment when we can meet each other. I cordially invite you to subscribe to the channel and if you desire to collaborate with my job, you can do it by clicking on the super thanks button that is down below. Mabuhay Filipinas, may God bless you all. Greetings from this Venezuelan.